Ooh, redemption. I have a chance. Crap. Never mind. Rip chances. Hey guys, Bundy here with another episode of Pokemon Ultra Sun Let's Play. In the last episode, we uh, evolved Rockruff into a Lycanroc and caught a Stuffle. But in between episodes, I actually caught another Stuffle. I just caught it. I could have started the episode once I found the Stuffle, but you know, whatever. Um, it's because this original one we caught, it has Klutz, and I would rather have it have Fluffy. Just because it's a better ability. Klutz is pretty useless. It just lets your Pokemon, or it prevents your Pokemon from holding an item. I don't see the point. So, this one's actually a level lower, so I'm kind of putting myself at a slight disadvantage. Um, but, let's switch the team around. Put lots up front. Just to switch train it, I guess. And I don't want um, whatever the highest thing. Oh yeah, wasn't there a person on this route that'll battle you if you fight everyone? I'm gonna fight everyone, just to train lots of. I'm gonna do that. We got golfer may maily. Or male. Golfer male. Okay. <laughs> and you're a psychic type. Yeah. So, Brutal Swing. Do I have any TMs that you could learn? Pretty sure you can learn a bunch of TMs. Pretty sure I can replace your moveset, like, immediately. Most... I think I'll keep Brutal Swing. That's one that can stay, but most of your moveset can be replaced pretty easily. Right? I know there's also a guy back here. The golfer used to be like right here. But he's actually back there. For some reason. He's hitting... He must really not like this building. Maybe they kicked him out. Maybe he used to live here and they kicked him out. But like he's trying to hit this Pokeball at the building. Why? Okay. What do you have? Do you have a Magnemite? Oh, you have a ooh, ooh. That made me sad. I just... I could have taught lots of Rock Tomb. Then this would be easy. I have Bide. I could teach it Bide. Oh, God. It's not Stab. It's not Stab, and I have Fluffy. I have to remember it's not stab because neither Hoot Hoot nor Noctowl are actually psychic types, even though they have psychic moves and look like psychic types. They're often represented as psychic types anyway, but they're not. They're normal flying. It should have been psychic flying like Natu, but I guess that would be repetitive. Okay, if you could not. You could please not. He was trying to use stab. I thought maybe that would kill, but it's. I feel like a psychic move would do, but new would do more, especially echoed voice versus confusion. There's a base power difference there. Uh, what's this item? Gimme, dive ball. Okay, fair enough. Doom sticker? Nope. Didn't think so. Hello. Knock. Oh, hey. Well then. Bye. I... I know when I'm not welcome. I'm afraid we have no vacancies today. Especially not with that room two doors down being rented out non-stop all this time. The boy staying there paid up to two years worth of nights when he first got here. Though he's not so free with cash now as he used to be. Seems like Team Skull doesn't pay well enough to live off of. Then how did he... Well, I guess it makes sense. He's a terrible guard Pokemon, but my Snubble's still super cute. 
Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, I heal. Why is it freezing? Well, you can hear me. Can't see anything that's going on, though. I guess if you didn't care about watching my team get healed, there you go. Oh, and coding overloaded. Great. My bro's super strong at Pokemon, you know. I borrowed my bro's Pokemon without asking, actually. But do you want to have a battle? Sure. Ha! I'll beat you no sweat. Crap! I forgot to teach lots of DMs. Please have things that are weak to dark. You have a Kangaskhan. Why do you have a Kangaskhan? This is a fair matchup. <laughs> if it mega evolved, I mega evolved, I would just walk out. I would just be done. <laughs> I mean, he borrowed his brother's Pokemon, but isn't there kind of a bond thing for Megas? Like, it just wouldn't work. Uh, Fire Fang will do more, hopefully. Please. Nope. It burned him though. Oh god. I just got predicted. Maybe I didn't. Maybe it's only his only stab move. Okay. You and your child go down. Watso's level 20. Good for Watso. Good for you, buddy. Teeter dance. I don't see a point. I mean... But I'm also never gonna use feather dance, so there's that. Well, lowering someone's attack would be nice. But making them confused is better. No, my big bro's Pokemon! I think he had more than one Pokemon. But if you borrowed your big brother's Pokemon, he's not just gonna have a Kangaskhan. What? Why? My bro's Pokemon is super strong, why did I lose? Hey, you! Oh no, hey, hey big bro. You brought my Pokemon out again without asking, didn't you? I'm sorry. And it looks like you got soundly defeated, too. Harsh. Yeah, but all your Pokemon are super strong, big bro. I don't get why. Even if they have potential, if you don't let them fight properly, Pokemon can't unleash their full power. You can only understand how strong your Pokemon are by giving them love and attention on a daily basis. You want to win with borrowed Pokemon, you need to train yourself, too. I always blame my Pokemon when I lose against friends. But that's what's, hap what's been preventing me from really becoming strong. I'm gonna spend more time with my own Pokemon, and I'll promise I'll beat you together with, my, with them, bro. Ha, I won't let you win easily. Can I have free stuff? Can, can you stop just bouncing around? Sorry, you had to get tangled up in this weird situation. Take this for your troubles. Right, I'll race you back home. Yeah, I'll send you around. I'll see you around. One thing that I don't know I don't like that much about this game is that it takes so much time in between text boxes for them to do little expressive animations it's nice but it could it could be happening while they're talking like you don't need to spend that much time on empty volumeless expression TMs Brain, remember things. Work up would be good. Work up would be good. Good baby doll eyes. I could also teach you Brick Break. Finally, have someone on the team that can learn Brick Break. Uh, get rid of Flail.
Okay. And... Rock Tomb. Dare to Bide. I'll switch those around. I didn't know I had Rock Tomb, so I was just getting rid of... I wasn't going to get rid of... Um, Bide right away. I thought Flail would be better to get rid of. Um, that. That. Yeah. There we go. That works out. And I can fight this person, right? Like, I'm not, not missing anyone. Not missing any trainers on the route. Oh, there's that one down there. What shall I do? Is there someone with Pokemon? You show them, show your Pokemon to them? T'Challa. Oh, thank you very much. Look, son, it's a Pokemon. Wow, Daddy's a Torquette. It doesn't look like Passimian at all. Oh. Hi, hurry. Okay, Daddy will be Passimian then. <laughs> You're weird. Okay, kids. Interesting conversation. Okay, kid. I mean, yeah, I agree. It's kind of weird, but that's not my business. I'm going to fight this lady. Wasn't there a trainer in here that wanted to fight? Was that just in Sun and Moon? I could swear that trainer is somewhere on this route. Somewhere. Yay, I can use my stab move. Yay. And we're even level. Stab super effective. Please don't make me flinch. Thank you. Die. Oh god, you lift. Uh, die. You were just trying to get a little bit of damage off. Ha. That looks way too much like Dark Pulse. Isn't Dark Pulse just like a beam? Which makes sense, because it always confused me how Dark Pulse, what used, the animation used to be kind of like Brutal Swing was, where it was a ring expanding out. Ooh, a big pearl, nice. But it only hit one person, like you'd think it would hit multiple. Whereas now the animation is just like a beam, a dark beam shooting forward. Um, which makes a lot more sense. Hi, person. Research, research, I tried to do research on Pokemon. Okay, good to know. What do you own? What Pogemans do you own? Oh, you have fossils. I thought it was weird that this generation didn't have their own fossils. But I mean, Gen 2 did it. Like, it just seems odd. It seems like a tradition they would go with after a certain point. I guess they wanted to break the mold. That was a useful turn. Good, good use of X attack. Oh, you have an Omnite. Aw, oh, man. I thought you'd have a Tyrant. You'd be like Grant. You just have a fossil team of Gen 6 fossils. Water gun, yeah, that's gonna do much. It did nothing. At least not a lot. Yay, death. I could have used that turn that the Amori used next attack to do work up, and then I probably would have killed everything in one hit. I'm still, I still don't know if I want to do Pokemon Refresh, because I thought it made things a lot easier um, when I played through Sun. I definitely think it puts, it makes it a lot easier. Oh wait, there's the Wimpod on the beach. I'm going to go get the Wimpod. Ha! Gotcha! It's really hard to do that without Tauros. At least I've never been able to do it without Tauros. So I just run at it with the Tauros. I think that's the point. I think they want you to. Whenever chasing things in games, I never know whether or not should I slow down so that it doesn't see me coming, 
or should I... I have to be careful, because once it gets to half HP, it's going to run. Should I slow down so it doesn't see me coming, or should I run fast to try to catch up to it? That's what I was confused with. But risk it running away faster. I had to be careful with that, so I just threw in that ball. I knew if I hit it, it would probably just run away. I'm very limited in Pokeballs. And again, I'm not going to catch another Pokemon for my party for a really long time. No. Not a, not a really long time. A decent passage of time. Oh, hey, a thing. More money. Gladly. I will take that. I will now also heal and put this wind pot away. Sorry, fake Lotso. You're staying in there. You're not going anywhere, dude. Okay. If only I had access to, like, Ice Punch. I don't think I get that until a later island, though. I know it's a, it's a tutor move, and I could just do Mantine Surf for tutor moves. I need Ice Punch. That'd be good. That'd be good for this trial. I bet I could get it. If I looked up the tutor moves, I'd probably be able to find it pretty easy. Now we're on to the trial. Woo! Thanks for stopping by. Welcome to Lush Jungle, the trial grounds for me, Mallow. You ready to get in some hot water? My trial's ready for you if you're ready for it. I'm ready. I knew it was the first time... I knew it the first time I saw you and your team. You've chosen only the finest ingredients. You're the one who got a sparkling stone straight from top of cocoa, aren't you? I totally get it now. Okay then, here in Lush Jungle, it's time for Malice Trial to begin. Ah, the breath of the jungle. <laughs> or like Breath of the Wild, am I right? But, um, I can tell just what today's special should be. <laughs> yep, it's gotta be. My secret specialty, the Super Mallow Special. I'm gonna need you to find three ingredients for me. I need a mango berry, some honey, and a big root. Here you go. I brought you a forage bag to hold all the ingredients together for your trial. Sweet. If you tossed all the trial ingredients in your own bag, it would make something... It... It would make something, all right. Something like a mallow mess, I guess. Let's go and find the first ingredient right away. Okay. Now, the way they changed this trial, it's really interesting. I like this change. I really like how this trial works. Jeez, those Flamantis, I wonder if they could tell how strong you are. You can find Mago Berries around here, but you also need to find you also find Flamantis living here too. Because they love Mago Berries. If you take a Mago Berry that Flamantis had their eyes on, they might take they might not take it too kindly. When you're done gathering ingredients here, just let me know. Now I know which tree is the right one. Obviously because I've done this before. Hopefully I can remember, that was a while ago. But is there an easy way of telling? It's that, it's that furthest tree over there. Ooh, there's a TM. It's just sparkles. Just sparkles. And sparkles. Is it this, the way the tree looks? It's just random. Sour scent is whapping from the sap dripping from the tree trunk. Will you pick up the mago berry that's on the ground here? Yes. You put the Mago Berry in your forage bag. And I will go on. So, about that ingredient, you sure that's the one you want to grab? If any Pokemon had their eyes on it, you might be taking something from the Pokemon thinks belongs to them, and they make a Metaculator. I'll be fine. Then it's on to the next ingredient. Chop, chop. Let's get moving. Now, the way this works... 
It's interesting, because they have a certain tree that they're going after, and if you take their ingredient, they'll get mad at you, and they'll try to go fight you. But if you don't take their ingredient, then you don't have to fight them at all. It's awesome. You may harvest honey from the flowers that bloom here in the jungle. Hey, Kiawe. But you'll also find plenty of Pokemon where there are lots of flowers. When you find the ingredients you sure you want, you sure you want, come with me. Come show them to me, okay? Da 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 da. People say Pokemon are lured in by flowers and gather around them. Watch out when you see a bunch of flowers. If you don't want to get attacked, these ingredients are important for this tribe. They're also very important to the Pokemon that live in lush jungle. This thick club I'm going to give to Mallow too was the result of serious effort on the part of Marowak and I. No words. Okay. You smell a pleasant aroma. Will you take the honey from the few flowers that are blooming here? Yes. And when I first did this one, I had no idea why they weren't attacking me. Because this one, I just randomly guessed and it was the correct one. I was just like, this is too obvious. So let's just go to this one. It's about that ingredient. You sure it's the one you want to grab? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll be fine. On to the next ingredient. And we should be good, right? Yep. Yep. No comfy attacking. Big root, huh? You can find them near the trees in the deep jungle that look kind of like Sudowoodo. But you'll also find some trees that look like Sudowoodo are actually Sudowoodo. Good luck and watch out. When you find the ingredients you're sure you want, come with me, okay? Come show them to me, okay? Now this one's interesting, because you see how Sudowoodo has like round um, bush fingers, and he has feet, and he also has yellow specks on his back. One of these trees doesn't have any of that. Oh hey, strength rock. That also has specks. This one has roots. It has no specks. And the hands are, the fingers are a little more bushy. Because they're actual bushes. Oh, Brennan, are you here for Miles Trial too? Yep. Oh, I was just taking a guess. Looks like you got lured in too, huh? I came because Milo asked me to bring her some fresh water. This is the right tree. There's a tree that looks like it might be a Sudowoodo. Will you pick up the big root? Yes. Okay. And onward we go. What? Could be you want to leave the jungle? Uh, no. Okay. I didn't know I couldn't go that way. I thought it would circle around. I wish that when you were inside places, the map would show. It's about that ingredient. Yeah, yeah. No, I know. I know. Crap. I meant to switch my team. Yeah, that's an actual tree. It's not going to react. Because I don't want Lotso in front. Lotso's going to die. Thanks for stopping by. Let me check the ingredients you got for me. Let's see. That Maga Berry. Let's see that Maga Berry first. All right, then. Let's put this Maga Berry into the pot, and then we pour the fresh water that Lana brought us. Next up is the honey. We mix in the honey with the thick club that Kiawe brought along. And last but not least, the big root. Finally, it's finished, with one last pinch of my super special secret spice. Nice. Ta-da! Super Mango Special. It's all done and it smells delicious. A unique aroma begins to waft around the air. Feel a piercing gaze from somewhere within the underbrush. Why are they so angry? Oh, hello. Hello, friend. Oh, snip snip to you too. You seem a little mad. Everything good, buddy? Hi, Totem Lorantis. Hello. Hola. Now, you're grass type. So I have nothing for you. 
Um, the Palazzo. But, I do have a Torcat. I really should have put the Fire EMZ on Torcat. You would just be dead. You would just be dead. That's all that would happen. Solar Blade. Great. Oh. White Herb. At least you used the White Herb. That's all I ask. That you waste your White Herb. I need the Sun. Kecleon can't do Sun. Can do Ancient Power, though. That's a problem. Um... Kecleon can use Ancient Power. That's an issue. And Sunny Day! Yes! Thank you, Kecleon, for being useful. Okay. Sunlight turned harsh. Great. Just what I needed. Oh yeah, I forgot. You can get a Kecleon in the tunnel. Um... I never, like, if you go on the sides of the tunnel, not in the direct center, you can get a Kecleon. You're gonna lower my defense by a bunch. A Solar Blade will kill. Do I outspeed? You probably outspeed, right? Um, I'm going to switch to Patty, because Patty can take a Solar Blade, and I'm going to heal if I can. Because I can't have the Screech and have low HP, and even if I took a turn to heal, I would just keep getting attacked. Um, so I'm going to heal T'Challa. Anytime now. Thank you. Synthesis. Great. Just great. Awesome. That's what I wanted. Ooh, redemption. have a chance. Crap. Never mind. Rip chances. Sunlight, stay. Dang it, faded. Double kick. You have thrash. Why did I get rid of Fire Fang? I mean, I guess it's redundant, but like, it was kind of useful. Um, this will still hurt. Still do some damage. I really wish I could swap items. Cause I for sure don't need the Quick Claw. Can I get a crit? That's all I ask. Crit, super max roll, like, either one. Maybe a max roll could kill, I doubt it though. Crit? Yeah, super max roll. <laughs> nice. Nice. That was easy. Okay. I was just like, wait, what? Roar. Nah. Nah, bro. Did not learn roar. Okay. Double kick. Go.
I'm glad that his ability takes effect after I hit him with double kick. Yes, it's not stab anymore! So, so like one double kick lands and then it changes them to a fighting type and that's not super effective. That would be annoying. That was the easiest time I've had with this trial. Also the first trial I've beaten with, uh, with Torcat. Awesome. Wow, Brennan, you're even stronger than I thought. You really drew the best out of your team. You even quieted down that Laurentis totem Pokemon in Lost Jungle. And you got all the ingredients without even battling any Pokemon. As a captain, I really appreciate your looking out for your Pokemon living here in the jungle. For Pokemon living here in the jungle. Yes, even back at Whale Volcano Park, my Marowak didn't stand a chance. Nor did the Araquanid that I had trained so carefully. Well, looks like you've cleared all three of Akala's trials. It's an amazing trainer like you. An amazing trainer like you, who even cleared my super hard trial. Yes, I hated this trial in Ultra Moon. Then again, I had a... I had a Brion, <laughs> so that was a thing. Definitely deserves this. It had icy wind, but like, I think I beat it with a, I beat it with a Magmar. That's what happened. It was a Magmar with fiery MC. I faced this trial probably like 10 times when I was playing that game. It took me two hours, two hours, to beat this trial. It was painful. You received the Z Crystal from Mal. You obtained the Grass Type Z. Let me show you how you can use the Grass Type Z moves. You go like grass, okay? Here, watch me. <clears throat> Okie dokie, Mallow. Since you've cleared my trial brain, why don't you try raising some Pokemon and watch jungle here? Here, have some nest balls. Thank you, I like nest balls. Huh, hey, Lorraine just didn't finish its food. Well, I can't let it go to waste. Solana, Kiawe, you guys have. You guys should have some. Huh, oh, uh, I'm pretty full right now. I, uh, just ate a berry, yeah. And that food is cooked to. is suited to Pokemon taste buds, right? I think it's probably best to save it for when Lorantis wants some more. You think? Olivia always says she thinks it's delicious. I think people who enjoy food cook for her totem Pokemon too. You guys is lost. What if they went to the other dimension, they realized that they ate it and it was super spicy and bad and they just didn't want to try it. Well, I guess I'll have to go take this to Olivia. See you around, Brendan. I like that. They had a slight change of heart. Where did they all go? That was fast. Ooh. That, what's that sweet smell I smell drifting my way? Could it be a tasty mallow special? No, it's a super mallow special. I heard you cleared mallow's trial. Yeah, all right then. I have a present for you. This little TM right here is smart strike. A move that'll never miss. Can I teach that to my stuffle? Is that a thing? Is that a thing I can do? There'll be all kinds of discoveries and new experiences to make your adventure brighter. There's a facility yet that I want you to go check out in your island challenge. A dimensional research lab. Let's get out over there with extreme speed. Can you take me there? Is that a possibility? Guess I should congratulate you on clearing all three of Akala's trials, too. Congrats. Looks like it's time for you to take on Kahuna Olivia's grand trial. Olivia's an expert at using grass rock type Pokemon. You're gonna want to catch some grass type Pokemon in Lush Jungle to add to your team. Whenever you're ready for the grand trial, come see me at the Dimensional Research Lab. It's down past Route 6, yeah, but just ask Rotom if you need some help. Now, oh, this is the Dimensional Research Lab in Hia Hia City. Is in Hia Hia City. Okay, I do want to... Wow, I haven't looked at any Z Crystals. Um, put Phytanium Z on Watso. If I'm gonna give him an item, it might as well be that. Plus, that'll really help during the trial. Poor Patty. Patty didn't deserve that. Ooh, I can finally fight these trainers on this route. I could go down that way, or I could just fly there. I'll probably just fly there. Could fight the trainers on the route, though. 
Um, but I should probably end this episode. That'd be smart. That'd be a smart idea. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you all later.